So what are you trying to show me, man? I don't see anything. Oh, wait. Is that NECA's Jungle Disguise Dutch? Bo Shrek, guys. Hey, thanks for dropping by. Going to be doing something new here. I'm going to be doing something called Retro Reviews. I'm going to go back into the vaults, um, go back to my figures, my old figures that I might have two of. One uh, kept mint on card and one loose back to the days when figures were a little bit more affordable and you can buy two. So um, we're going to start this one off with uh, the NECA Jungle Disguise Predator Dutch. So this is on a, a blister card. And I believe they re-released this on a box packaging with the uh, open window. So original release. And this is the Jungle Disguise Dutch Predator. And it's got over 20 points of articulation. It includes the torch, spear, bow, arrows, and more. At the back, it's part of the 25th, right there, 25th anniversary. Now there's some information there that I'm not gonna read. You guys can read it if you want to. I did not pick up uh, all of them. I only picked up two. I picked up this one and I picked up the fully closed uh, um, Dutch, which is right here. Ta -da! There you go. Now this one, I have only one of. I've just kept a uh, mint on card. Um, back in days where uh, you can see the price tag right here. Some of the mid on card packaging, I, I, I like to keep the price tag on there because um, that way when you go back and reflect, you can see, oh wow, I, I only paid 20 bucks for this. Today you'll look at this and you say, whoa, wow, I only paid uh, 40 bucks for it. Let's go and open this one up. Not because I got two. All right, let's start with the accessories. To that, there are many. There is the torch right here now. Paint application, texture, everything here is 10 out of 10, man. You know, you cannot go wrong with that kind of detail on this seven inch figure. It's absolutely beautiful. There's the flame, reflecting the flame in the movie, wind blowing, going to one side, the Olympic run, folks, look at that. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's really, really, really good right here. And that's the same to be said with everything else here. Look at this, here's this bow accessory. And with this bow, we have um, three arrows that you can actually take out and use. I've elected to keep it in there. I guess I'm just gonna keep it in there. But yes, look, they come out if wish, if you desire. Um, let's look at that bow. Wow. I'm curious um, to see if the re-release, the one that's in the box window packaging is the same as this, as far as paint application, because this was something that came out first. I do not know the year difference between the two. And here you go, here's the staff with the And again, let's see if we can catch that detail. It's really nice, guys. I don't even know what this is called. Torch, spear, bow, arrows, and more. This is and more, guys. It's part of the and more of the accessories. And, oh, there's two right here, too. There's another one right here, staff. This is the one, I believe, one or the other, I don't know, that he throws with the bow and arrow onto the bridge. I can't remember. I've watched it so many times and I, I don't even know. And uh, here's another one right here. And of course, the knife that is roped together. Can we see that? On a staff. Okay, correction. Um, I don't want to be called out on this. Um, you know, we're dealing with serious stuff here, seven inch action figures. This is the one that he uses with the bow and arrow. <laughs> For the bridge and this is the staff that he picks up and chucks um, close to the rocks and there is one more accessory there's the leaf packed with gunpowder and a little match right there if you can pick up on that detail you can see that it is the leaf and it looks great back right there look at that 
and perfect paint applications for the little match too. Which leads us to Dutch himself in jungle disguise. So let me pick him up, bring him closer. Let's have a look at that beautiful, beautiful head sculpt. I'm trying to recall as I'm talking here that um, if, if we've ever seen something like that before, where there's an actor or a character that uh, is recognizable through a texture. And I don't think uh, there is anything like that. Let's see his eyes. Eyes are all right. And um, look at his body. Leaves, leaves everywhere here and there. Mud. Fantastic detail. Oh, looks like some dog poo. No, I'm just joking. Look at that detail. And even in his pants, um, you know, it's not heavily covered with dirt or mud, um, but you can still see the camouflage uh, behind it. So with articulation, you're looking at um, ball joint for his head. You've got shoulders, you've got your elbows, your wrists, ab crunch, ball joints on the hips, knees are bendable, and ankle rotation. So here's Dutch with uh, the torch in his hand and his knife tied up to a stick. A great pose and I also have his his arrows packed in the back you're one tall ugly got to keep it at that folks I got kids and they watch this video here's a possible scene if uh, Schwarzenegger did predator 2 and also a size comparison to um, some of the predators I don't have any classics out right now but um, the classic jungle but here's some lost tribe members <gasps> here's a side-by-side -side, uh, with Hellraiser's butterball because When's not a good time to show off Butterball? So that's it guys, a quick retro review of the Jungle Disguise Dutch from Predator by NECA. I guess in today, 2019, if if this guy was sold, it would definitely be sold in, uh, I, could, I could see it in one of these boxes, one of the, uh, I don't wanna knock these guys down, but uh, ultimate packaging, you know, when you open it up, not a fan, but, and you see the figure inside. I'd like to share with you an illustration that I did um, again, he didn't see me, and uh, you can see right there, it's a different take on Schwarzenegger, uh, checking out the mud on his back, in disguise. I, I ran out of room, so, um, let's do it right here. Please like and subscribe. Bo Shrek, that's me. Give it a thumbs up. And, of course, take some time to appreciate the illustration. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.